Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa in the NFTFTA? Are you looking forward to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send an email to the email address below. Are you a professional or a businessman? Do you desire to earn in dollars, euros or pounds? Have you thought of taking your business to the world? Does it look like a daunting tax? You deserve to know what you need to do to get ready to go global. Do you know that there is a science behind making your product or service to go global in a successful and sustainable manner? To learn more about it, get a copy of the book titled Pivot to Go Global. A scientifically proven, tested, and trusted template for building a successful and sustainable export business. To pre order a 33% discount, call 080 912 Are you an account officer, relationship manager, or marketer in a bank? Are you struggling to meet your income and deposit targets? Are you on the verge of losing your job for no performance? You desire a change for the better in your career. Then register for the Certified Global Trade Management Professionals from the American Institute of Extended Studies to acquire skills needed to solve import export trade customers' problems and consequently attract the deposit and income of the transaction to your bank. Registration is currently ongoing. Call this number to register today. Are you a professional or a businessman? Do you desire to earn a dollar euros or pounds? Have you thought of taking your business to the world? Does it look like a daunting tax? You deserve to know what you need to do to get ready to go global. Do you know that there is a science behind making your product or service to go global in a successful and sustainable manner? To learn more about it, get a copy of the book titled Views to Go Global. It's scientifically proven, tested, and trusted templates for building a successful and sustainable export business. To order, call 080 Are you a retiree? Are you an employee looking forward to retirement? Are you an agro processor? a farmer and a manufacturer of different items in Nigeria? Do you desire to earn foreign exchange in euro, dollars and pounds? Are you interested in expanding your market beyond the shore of Nigeria? Are you looking for how to start doing export business? Do you have an order and looking for how to go about exporting your product abroad? Then I have great news for you. Great Impact Trade Academy in conjunction with American Institute of Extended Studies brings to you from expert novice to expert legend. This is an expert mentoring program that helps you step by step until you achieve your goal of doing a successful and sustainable export business. New enrollment is currently ongoing. The program costs $1,250 and there are flexible payment plans to fit your budget. Enroll today. Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking forward to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. 
You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send an email to the email address below. All right, good evening, everyone, and thank you very much for joining to e on this evening. Um, we're going to be discussing my state today. <laughs> we're going to be discussing on the state. We're going to be discussing on the state today. We're going to be discussing on those state today. If you're here to get the book built to go global, this book basically helps you to know exactly what you need to do to minimize the risk in export business and make it a successful and sustainable venture. If you are looking for previous edition of this program, you can visit our YouTube channel, Voice of African Trade. Our YouTube channel, Voice of African Trade, houses all the previous episodes of this program, and you'll be able to have access to all of them simply by visiting Voice of African Trade YouTube channel. Subscribe, like, share, drop your comment, and don't forget to click on the notification bell. If you're also joining for the first time and you want to have access to the link for live session of this program every week, visit African Export Business Platform on Telegram. Visit African Export Business Platform on Telegram. So we are winding down little by little in this program, exploring potential of Nigerian state under the AFCFTA, we started with Abia, then Adamawa, then Akwaibom, then Anambra State, then Bauchi State, then Bayosa State. When Benue and also Bono State, we went to Cross River and then Delta State. We've been to a Boeing State, a Do, Ekiti, and Enugu State. We've been to Gombe State in the north, Imo in the south, Jigawa, that's my second state where I served. In the north, Kaduna State, Kano, Kastina, Kebi, Kogi, and Kwara. When Lagos recently, then Nazarawa and Niger. Last week, we went to Ogun State. Today, we are in, still in Southwest and we'll be doing Ondo State. And for the rest of the month, we're going to be doing Oshu and Oyo State. And in the month of December, we'll be having played two rivers, Chokuto and Taraba, and sometimes in January. We hope to have UB and Zamfara State. Before we shift gear to another kind of program or training program entirely. So if you're joining us for the first time, welcome on board. And as we discuss Ondo State today, let's see what Akari Dolo has done in Ondo State in the last, I think he's been governor now for like five, six years. Let's go on a short break. When we come back, then we start. Are you a retiree? Are you an employee looking forward to retirement? Are you an agro processor, a farmer, and a manufacturer of different items in Nigeria? Do you desire to earn foreign exchange in euro, dollars, and pounds? Are you interested in expanding your market beyond the shore of Nigeria? Are you looking for how to start doing export business? Do you have an order and looking for how to go about exporting your product abroad? Then I have great news for you. Great Index Trade Academy in conjunction with American Institute of Extended Studies brings to you from export novice to export legend. This is an export mentoring program that helps you step by step until you achieve your goal of doing a successful and sustainable export business. New enrollment is currently ongoing. The program costs $1,250 and there are flexible payment plans to fit your budget. Enroll today. All right. Okay. In this program, every week we have seven sections for those that have joined us in the past. We have the preamble, just summarizing what the state is all about, location and the like. 
then the peculiarities, what are the things peculiar about the state, then the profile that we focus on income of the state, and of course the debt of the state, then the potential, what can this state export? Under purchasers, who can they export to? And what volume do they buy? Under proposal, we look at what the state can do to support SMEs. And under profit, we look at how the state itself can make money directly by exporting products manufactured or crops grown within the state. So we're off to Undo State with the slogan, Ishe Logo Ishe. <laughs> that means work is the antidote to poverty. Ishe Logo Ishe. All right. Undo State can avoid over-dependence on federal location by focusing on export. Undo State can avoid over-dependence on federal allocation by focusing on export. Export can help the state also to boost its GDP. Export can help the state to boost the GDP. Export is a tool that can be used by the state to create opportunity for SMEs to grow. To create opportunities for SME to grow. Export provide that leverage to create opportunity for SME to grow. Export can help, to help the businesses in the state to decree over dependence on domestic market. If you are an importer, you are in Nigeria today, of course you know that you can't depend on local market and be looking for foreign exchange. If you are going to get a foreign exchange, of course you have to export. Export can help the state to earn export proceeds and grow its revenue. Export can help the state to make farming and rural life become more lucrative. Export can help the state to gain global relevance and market share and recognition. Export can help the state to be home of creativity and innovation. Export can help the state to be home of creativity and innovation. Export can help in, uh, can serve as industrial catalyst for the state. It can help in job creation for youth in the state. It can help the state to know the value of what they ask as competitive advantage. Can know what it has as competitive advantage. It can be said to leave for other states to follow. It can make the state to be independent of federal government allocation. Um, it can become, it can, this, this uh, business in the state can as I said, have access to the numerous incentives that export that gets in Nigeria, like the ROT 200 FX, C5 Naira for every dollar you bring in. It creates opportunity to maximize the opportunity, the, uh, maximize the indigence of the state abroad. You know, in recent time, through my TikTok uh, video, I've been talking a lot about the opportunity of our people abroad. Opportunity of our people abroad. Why is this important? We can partner with our friends and native abroad to grow export in Nigeria. That's the good news about Jaguar. That's the, that's the only thing I see about Jaguar. I don't see the fact that they live in Nigeria. They are there to help us. <laughs> they are there to help us. And this is very important. Very, very important. Because if we leverage, if you take, if you leverage on that opportunity, you'll be shocked at how much Nigeria can do to grow export. 
It's a poverty eradication opportunity for the state. It can help the state to keep leagues of state depending on wasting assets like oil. It can help to revive the economy of the state, slow down renewable and aggression. Tax opportunity for exporters in the state. It can help utilization of idle capacities of the companies in the state. Export can make the state become viable. There are some states in Nigeria I heard are not viable. The export can make the state to become viable. It's a well creation opportunity for citizens of the state. Through export, can I say the potential of product found in the state? The state, it can help the state to yearn for um, the people in the state to improve competition and, of course, zero in on their area of strength. So, what do you see in Ondo State today? Do you see unemployment in Ondo State? Of course, there are unemployment. And I'm going to show you the data very soon. There are unemployment in Ondo State. Do you see frust um, poverty? Of course, there are poverty in Ondo State. Do you see frustration? Of course, there are frustration in Ondo State, just like many other states in Nigeria. We have chosen to see opportunities in farming, opportunities in mining, and of course, opportunities in our population. We'll go on a short break. When we come back, we begin to talk about the peculiarity of this. Country. We've been thinking about government export opportunities in Africa on the AFCFTV. Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send an email to the email address below. All right. Are you Peculiarities. What are the peculiarities of Undo State? Undo State was created in 1976 from the former Western State by the regime of General Muritala Mohammed. By the regime of General Muritala Mohammed. It originally included what is now known as Ekiti State. I remember when Ekiti State was created in 1996, it was with Fonfe, <laughs> that was from Abacha, from Ondo State. I happened to be in uh, Ekiti at that time, and it was a welcome development. Akure is the capital of Ondo State. The economy of Ondo State is sixth largest in Nigeria. Ondo State economy? is the sixth largest economy in Nigeria and is dom dominated by crude oil and crop. Undo produces around 50,000 tons, so 75,000 tons rather. Of cocoa annually. And has the largest bitumen deposit in Africa, longest coastline in Nigeria. Ondo State have the longest coastline in Nigeria. The governor is always very proud of this and talking about to maximize the opportunity of this. <laughs> How to maximize the opportunity of this and the reason is simple. If you have that kind of coastline, you should have a port, actually. Located in southwestern Nigeria, covers 14,606 square kilometers. Ondo State is bounded in the east by Edo State and Delta, in the north by Ikiti and Kogi State, in the west by Oshun and um, Ogu State, and of course in the south by the Atlantic Ocean. The ethnic composition of Ondo State is likely from Yoruba subgroup, subgroup of Akoko. Ikare, Ondo Owo, Ilaje, Arugos, and Akos, who are enjoy extraction and mostly located in the Rivina area. The Akure people also. Ondo State contains the largest number of public schools in Nigeria. 
over 880 primary school and 190 secondary school. You know, Ondo State is believed that the education is the industry of Ondo State, particularly when it was with Equity State. And when Equity Pula Equity became um, its own state, Ondo keep increasing education. 80, 880 primary schools, public primary school, and 190 secondary school. Interesting. Opportunity exists in agri, life manufacturing, healthcare, tourism, energy, mining, and logistics. Total land area is 15,820 kilometers. It has 18 local government. My local government is Akoko South East. <laughs> Akoko South East. Population is about 4.9 million. Vegetation is tropical, savanna, and monsoon. Major crop, cocoa, rubber. Or palm, cashew, cocoa. Minerals include bitumen, timber, crude oil, limestone, granite, coal, and columbine. Let's look a little bit more than this state. Remember, the state produces 75,000 tons of cocoa annually, large deposit of bitumen, large deposit of bitumen. This state has a very large deposit of bitumen. Through deep sea port, coal located with free zone, second longest defined coastline of 75 kilometer. Natural transit, transit up to Nigerian hinterland, fertile land, and water for agriculture. If an opportunity exists in cocoa, bitumen, cocoa, oil palm, deep sea port, education, cashew, timber, oil and gas, logistic hub. The state has a very high level, 38% of young population. Now, the population, working population in those state is 3.3 million. Those not in labor force, 895. Those in labor force, 2.4. But out of that, gainfully employed, 1.4. The rest are not gainfully employed. The rest are not gainfully employed. We're going to short break when we come back. We'll be talking more about the Undo state and we'll be looking at the profile of this state. Are you a retiree? Are you an employee looking forward to retirement? Are you an agro processor, a farmer, and a manufacturer of different items in Nigeria? Do you desire to earn foreign exchange in euro, dollars, and pounds? Are you interested in expanding your market beyond the shore of Nigeria? Are you looking for how to start doing export business? Do you have an order and looking for how to go about exporting your product abroad? Then I have great news for you. Pretty Impex Trade Academy in conjunction with American Institute of Extended Studies brings to you from export novice to export legend. This is an export mentoring program that helps you step by step until you achieve your goal of doing a successful and sustainable export business. New enrollment is currently ongoing. The program costs $1,250 and there are flexible payment plans to fit your budget. Enroll today. All right. Rafa, let's look at on those state debt. Let me look at the debt that my governor have accumulated. <laughs> The domestic debt, sorry, the IGR of Ondo State was 24.85 billion in 2020. And, I, and federal allocation was 62. Debt profile has grown since 2016 from 65 to about 107 billion. That's total debt, both domestic and foreign. The challenge of foreign debt in Nigeria today is this. Anybody into foreign debt? Anybody into foreign debt? Anybody into foreign debt? We have to be paying heavily because of the exchange rate issue. Because of the exchange rate issue. 
because of the exchange rate issue. It's not a good time to have foreign debt in Nigeria because of the volatility of the FX market. The operating expenses of my governor is very high, very, very high. Look at this state. The operating expenses is about 92 billion. This state cannot survive without Abuja, even though it's an oil producing state. This state have IGR 28% and federal allocation about 72%. So there's so much dependence on federal allocation. This is what I talk about every week. This is why they say some states in Nigeria are not viable. Because if you look at the operating expenses, the state cannot survive without Abuja. The goal of this program every week is to demonstrate how the state can generate money directly from export. Let's look at what budget have to say about Ondo State. According to budget, the Sunshine State Ondo State emerged number 30 in physical performance ranking down to down six places from 24 in 2020. This drop was due to fall in IGR, reduced priority place on capital expenditure. Can you imagine? The state IGR dropped from 17.55 to 22, from 30 billion rather to 24. The pay declined from 2.6 billion uh, de decline by 15.4 from 17 to 14 billion. Road tax or uptick from 790 million to 107 billion, to 1.07 billion rather, making the state one of the only 40 states in the country to see its road tax grow as the COVID pandemic ravage local economy across the country. Nevertheless, given its population, it still need to work hard to boost internal generated revenue. This will go a long way to reduce the risk of further indebtedness. The state total revenue for 2022 was 190. On state cannot fund both its current and capital expenditure with its revenue unless it goes to the root of that because the cost is very high for Recurrent expenditure. The state expenditure profile includes 92 billion on operating expenses and 29 on capital expenses. Whereas the state adds total revenue inflow of about 190, opening balance in January 2021-25, and the proceed from long-term borrowing of 15, the best the state can do is to cut down its operating expenses. I don't know why the operating expenses was so high. The state need to rein in its Operating expenses, which grew, it has to reduce operating expenses, that which grew from 86 to 92. In contrast, the state capital expenditure declined. Can you imagine? From 30 to 29. The state needs to invest more in capital infrastructure as operating expenses of 96 in 2020 was more than three times capital expenditure. Governor Craig, this is not good enough. On those state total debt, has been on a gradual increase in the past five years by rising, I mean, rising by 64.3% from 65 billion to 107. But it still holds the status of having the smallest debt profile in the entire Southwest. On those states, I have the slowest debt <laughs> in the entire Southwest in the entire Southwest. All right. We're going to short break when we come back. We go, go, I mean, go to the potential. Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa on the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? 
then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the global trade twitter.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send any email to the email address below. Are you all right? Potential. Oh, someone said from Ore, you know, those days. <laughs> <laughs> it's already right. no don't stay today. Okay. So what are the potential that own those they have? What are the potential? That one does they have agriculture, including fishing, constitute the main occupation of the people of the state. Indeed, on the state is the leading cocoa producing state in Nigeria. Other agricultural products include yam, cassava, and palm produce. Major industry in those state include Nigeria, Romania, wood industry in Ondo, the oil palm mill in Okitipupa. Alpha industry in Arigidia cocoa, cocoa processing factory, Ileoluji in, in, in Ileoluji, Olua glass in Igbokoda, and the premier metal industry in Ondo State, in Ondo Town, rather. Agriculture is the mainstay of the economy, and the sheep product is cotton and tobacco from the north, cacao from central part of the state, that's cocoa and rubber and timber from the southern, southeastern part of the state. Palm oil and, can, and quankanel are cultivated for export throughout the state. So the state produces cotton, tobacco, cocoa, rubber, timber, palm oil, or palm kernel, and the like. Ondo is the Nigeria chief cocoa producing state. Other crops include rice, yam, corn, coffee, taro, cassava, vegetable, fruits. Traditional industry include poultry, Making pottery making, cloth weaving, tailoring, carpentry, blacksmithing, mineral deposit include kaolin, pyrite, iron ore, petroleum, and coal. What are the major crops again? Cocoa, cocoa yam, rubber, oil palm, cashew, and cocoa, and the mineral bitumen, timber, crude oil, limestone, granite, and coal and columbite. So who are the purchasers of these products? Corn, for example, the market size is 36.3. So these are the products that own those state government can export itself to generate foreign exchange directly and have more than enough to take care of all the, op all the heavy operating expenses of Governor Kredulu. Japan, South Korea, Vietnam, Iran, China, Malaysia, Chinese, Turkey, Saudi Arabia, Israel, Bangladesh are all countries. Are all countries that import corn in Asia, in Europe, Spain, Germany, Netherlands, Italy, Belgium, Austria, France, Portugal, Ireland. Hungary, Ukraine, Denmark, they are all um, importers of corn in Europe, in North America, Mexico, Canada, United States, Dominican Republic, then Egypt, Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia are all importer of corn in Africa, Egypt, Algeria, Morocco, Tunisia. And the import of corn in Africa is actually $3.7 billion. So there's a market under AFCFT in Africa. Let's look at rice. Can you imagine Benin Republic importing 3% of rice in the world and about 12% of rice imported by, can you imagine, by Africa? And the population of Benin is not up to Lagos. Of course, those rice are escaping to Nigeria. Iran, China, 
Iraq, major buyer of rice in Asia. In North America, United States, Canada, Mexico, and Haiti, major import of rice. In Europe, UK, France, Germany, Italy, Belgium, Netherlands, major import, major import, rather. Benin Republic, Cote d'Ivoire, South Africa, Senegal, Ghana, Kenya, major importer. In Africa, Cote d'Ivoire, South Africa, Senegal, Cameroon, Egypt, Ghana, Togo, Kenya, Angola, Guinea, Somalia, major importer of rice. How about cassava? Cassava. Major importer, cassava market is 12.1 billion. China, Vietnam, Thailand, major importer, Netherlands, UK, Rwanda in Africa, Burundi, cocoa beans. Look at the market set of cocoa beans. Less than 10 billion. A majority of these are from Africa. Who are those enjoying African cocoa beans? Netherlands, United States, Germany, Belgium, France, Malaysia, Indonesia. And these companies, they are the one producing chocolate. West, 75% of cocoa export is from West Africa. Some few countries import cocoa in Africa, Algeria, Egypt, Ethiopia, South Africa, Tunisia, and Ghana. Palm oil, another very valuable product. 29.3 billion. The state can generate this in Okitipupa. And the state can export palm oil directly to India, China, Pakistan, Netherlands, Russia, Germany, United States, Egypt. In Africa, Africa is spending 4.2 billion to import palm oil. So here are the potential and opportunity available to in those states. Egypt, Kenya, Tanzania, Ghana, South Africa, Angola, Benin, Djibouti, Somalia, Senegal, Mauritania are all major importers of palm oil. How about rubber? Rubber market is 13.6 billion. Now, you know, when you look at the, the budget of Ondo State for this year, that's, um, I'm trying to check 2022 budget of Ondo State in 2022, you will realize that just one of this product can help the state to pay its bills. Just one, just one product. That is the opportunity that we have under the African Continental Free Trade Agreement. Huge opportunity available, no doubt. The question is, at the People at the end of affair are aware of this opportunity and know exactly what to do to take advantage of it. Because the truth is, they keep depending on Abuja to share the money. And that is creating big problem for us, sincerely. And I say creating big problem for us because it's another time for election. The people we vote in are critical. If they are thinking people who are willing to generate income by leveraging another means, they will be at an advantage. Look at this state, Ondo State. The budget of Ondo State this year is about 200 billion, 199 billion actually. One product, you know, if this state decide to export 0.5 billion dollar, 0.54. $0.5 billion of any of these products, 0.5, you take care of his budget. 0.5. You take care of all his budget. You will have surplus. You won't have deficit in that budget. Just by considering the export of what own those state is capable of producing. Look at rubber. From Japan to India to Malaysia to South Korea to the United States to Germany to Spain, even in Africa. South Africa, Egypt, Algeria, and the market 13.6 billion. Cash you not. Cash you not. 7.46 billion from Vietnam to India to China to Germany to Netherlands to United States to France 
And even in Africa, Ghana, South Africa, Togo, Tunisia, Algeria, Tanzania, and Morocco. We'll go on a short break. When we come back, we'll be looking at the proposal, my proposal to my governor, Governor Kerry Dulin on those days. Are you thinking about demand demand export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking forward to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the Global Trade Tutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send an email to the email address below. All right. Proposal. Proposal. What is my proposal to Ondo State? What is my proposal to Ondo State? Here is my proposal to Ondo State. If SMEs, let's take, let's say palm oil or cocoa. If the SME is involved in production, primary production, harvesting and transport, primary processing and storage, Second is processing and packaging, marketing and sale, logistics, export and distribution. If, if, only SME are involved in this, it poses a problem. And the problem is this. poses a problem, and the problem is that you have inefficient value chain operator. You have low processing capacity and low So inefficient valuation operator, low processing capacity and low output, few job creation, low quality and packaging, high cost of production, and non-competitive products in the export market. So imagine if Governor Kerry Dolu can have a public-private partnership in which you have SME1 do the primary production of palm products, of cocoa and the like, and then we have a large corporate who is processing palm oil, or processing cocoa into maybe chocolate, or processing cashew into roasted cashew nut. So SME2 can go to SME1, buy raw materials, take it to this large corporate, who is going to process and package for me. In two, three weeks when I come back, I will pick up my goods fully ready for the export market. And I pay per unit of what they are processed for me. This will make SME1 to be more busy because there will be more demand from SME2. And SME2 focus on marketing and sales, logistics, and distribution. You won't have to worry about NAVDAC power because here you have a big organization operating a shared facility. Big organization operating a shared facility. This create efficient valuation operators, high processing capacity and high output, good quality and packaging, low cost of production and competitive products in the export market, increase job creation, decrease inequality, and decrease insecurity. Decrease inequality and decrease insecurity. In order to support exporters in those states to enter export market in Africa, Europe, and America, in a secure and sustainable way, the state can do the following. Partner with representative at destination to market and secure contract. Set up warehouses for pickup by wholesaler and retailer at destination. Set up an entity agent and distributor at destination. 
partner with independent agent and distributor at the at destination, organize and sponsor manufacturer for exhibition in the export market. How can the state profit directly? Let's use Coco as an example. The state have arable land mass of about 595 hectares, 595,000 hectares of land. Let's assume half of that land is used for cocoa. At the yield per hectare of one metric ton, we can produce 297,000 tons of cocoa. If we decide not to add value and export, we can generate $729 million. If we convert at 450, we can generate $302 billion. The state government already supports farmers with seedlings and get, their, and get contract to produce for the state and the state pay them because the state owned the land, owned the crop, owned the um, seedlings. And for their effort, the state paid them. And the state also incurred cost of export, cost of farming with profit for the farmers. If you subtract all that plus the IGR, the state can still generate 291 billion. Remember the budget of this state is 199. This state, or those state, can make money directly. By exporting even the raw before they add value to it. How can this work? The state can partner with a private organization that is into this space, provide fund, wide organization provide expertise and they have a sharing formula, form the farmer into cooperatives, issue purchase order back by guarantee, provide training input and support to farmers, provide collection centers for harvest, clean and process this product for export, source for buyers and do documentation and shipment, present document to buyers bank for payment abroad, pay farmers and share the balance with the, the SPV, and use the money for development. You develop your money for development of the state. So sorry, the network is not doing so well. So sorry about this. I'm not in the office, I'm actually in transit and I had to do this from an hotel and the network is really very bad. So sorry about that. The impact of the suggested revenue for state government go beyond generation of revenue via export. It has the humongous impact on the employment generation and increased economic activity in the state. This, in my opinion, is a more effective, efficient, and enduring model for diversifying the economy of any state in Nigeria. This model can also be replicated by federal government at the federal level, especially for the exportation of solid minerals. There's going to show you when we come back, I'll round off for today. Are you thinking about demand demand export opportunities in Africa on the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, call this number or send any email to the email address below. All right. Next week, we are going to Oshun State, one of the states that they said is not viable in Nigeria. And let's see what Oshun State have to offer. Are you a professional or a businessman? Do you desire to earn in dollars, euros, or pounds? Have you chosen taking your business to the world? Does it look like a daunting tax? You deserve to know what you need to do to get ready to go global. Do you know that there is a science behind making your product or service to go global in a successful and sustainable manner? To learn more about it, get a copy of the book titled Views to Go Global. A scientifically proven, tested, and trusted template for building a successful and sustainable export business. To pre order at 50% discount, call 080 912 444 
for nine. If you are yet to get the book B to go global, this book that helps you to be able to know why export businesses failed and how to avoid those pitfalls. It has 15 case studies and show you how to, you can become export ready and minimize the issues that many businesses fail in the course of trying to do export in different parts of the world. If you're looking for a recorded version of this video, you can visit our YouTube channel, Voice of African Trade. Remember to drop your comment, subscribe, like, share, and remember to comment and click on the notification bell. If you want to get a link to this program next week, kindly visit African Export Business Platform on Telegram, African Export Business Platform on Telegram. You are retiring. Are you an employee looking forward to retirement? Are you an agro processor? a farmer and a manufacturer of different items in Nigeria, do you desire to earn foreign exchange in euro, dollars and pounds? Are you interested in expanding your markets beyond the shore of Nigeria? Are you looking for how to start doing export business? Do you have an order and looking for how to go about exporting your product abroad? Then I have great news for you. Great Index Trade Academy in conjunction with American Institute of Extended Studies brings to you from expert novice to expert legend this is an expert mentoring program that helps you step by step until you achieve your goal of doing a successful and sustainable export business new enrollment is currently ongoing the program costs a thousand two hundred and fifty dollars and there are flexible payment plans to fit your budget enroll today a you a professional or a businessman do you desire to earn dollars, euros, or pounds? If it doesn't take your business to the world, does it look like a daunting tax? You deserve to know what you need to do to get ready to go global. Do you know that there is a science behind making a product or service to go global in a successful and sustainable manner? To learn more about it, get a copy of the book titled Pubis to go global. A site of key proven, tested, and trusted templates for building a successful and sustainable export business. To pre order a 50% discount, call 080 912 Are you an account officer, relationship manager, or marketer in a bank? Are you struggling to meet your income and deposit targets? Are you on the verge of losing your job without performance? Do you desire a change for the better in your career? Then register for the Certified Global Trade Management Professional from the American Institute of Extended Studies to acquire skills needed to solve import export trade customers' problems and consequently attract the deposit and income of the transaction to your bank. Registration is currently ongoing. Call this number to register today. Are you thinking about to maximize export opportunities in Africa under the AFCFTA? Are you looking for where to get a detailed export market information for almost all African countries? Are you looking for the item of import in different African countries and the value of import done by different countries? Then visit the African Trade Intelligence Platform via the globaltradetutor.com. You can have access to all this information every month for just $20 only. For more information, Call this number or send any email to the email address below. Are you All right, thank you very much for joining today. 
See you next week and have a wonderful weekend and bye-bye.